Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So this video was a long time coming, and in it we're going to uh, discuss Jade as a 5 star with his upgraded Grasta, as well as we'll do a little bit of gameplay and a 5 star review. Now, the most important question of all is, is he hot or not? He's tall, mysterious, and handsome. Of course he's hot. Looks like I got some competition then. Anyways, um, so far, as a free character, as a 5-star, um, he's quite powerful. He is the only um, Lance user that can boost all other Lance users by 50% with one of his moves. So he's definitely integral in any Lance team. You can see his Valor Chant right there. Power minus 20, speed minus 20, so fairly defensive. Um, but, you know, it depends on how powerful your team is. But that being said, extra utility with his VC. So you can see the three moves we're going with. Uh, Blaze Lance is the first one we'll discuss. So with this, he can fit in both uh, fire type teams as well as pierce type lance teams. So it's a fire type minus, uh, sorry, medium attack, single target, but it inflicts pain guaranteed and ignores target resistance. So one of the things that fire teams are generally missing is they don't really have any units that can apply guaranteed pain. I know that Radius can, but however, she's not really a sole uh, fire user. She's more of a slash user. So, um, you know, I wouldn't consider her to be a guaranteed in your fire team. This will be very useful in allowing you to equip all those pain grasses that you're get, uh, getting from Antiquity Guerrilla in order to maximize your damage. Now, Volk Howl is also the integral move, like I mentioned earlier, for Lance or Pierce teams. So, Pierce single uh, DPS XL, Pierce resistance minus 30, which is already pretty decent, and all Lance equipped characters damaged by 50% increase for three turns. So, um, currently in Global, I believe we have powerful units such as his Mina, we have Suzette or AS Suzette, and of course, one of the newest units, AS. For it. So imagine using this move with those three characters in your front line, doing uh, Pierce Zone plus all those Lance damage. Insane. Finally, his spam move is the Celebros Agni. So fire type piercing, three times XL attack, power minus 15, three turns stackable for a total of 25. I guess 30% actually powered down. So actually quite defensive and very useful. Another hole that can be filled in fire type units because um, as you know, my boy Seti, he does have int down while shield up with type resistance up. However, this will be paired so that you can have protection from both uh, physical attacks as well as um, magical attacks. Very, very useful indeed. Not to mention it does quite a bit of damage and note that if you do inflict pain, it does more damage. So. Guess what? We can use uh, Plays Dance to help enhance that. Last one we'll talk about quickly is Volcano Shoot. He can use it for AoE clearing. And it does apply fire resistance down, but most fire teams have other uh, units that can do that. So I wouldn't consider that to be extremely awesome in that sense. Okay, so you can see the normal moves as his 5 star board. Note that I did equip Ulcanactos, and so for those who didn't grind that out, Ulcanactos is a other lands rightly very hard weapon that can reduce MP cost by up to 20% as well as, um, you know, increase damage. So, you can see his grass there. Um, his special one, Ultrigid's Resolution. I do have a video on my channel if you're having trouble finding that particular grass there. You can get that after you've achieved um, Jade as a 5 star. Uh, once you've beaten all five battles and paid the five chance in order to upgrade Jade. So keep that in mind that it does cost five chance in order to do so. So let's take him up for a spin. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. Okay, so first of all, we're just going to use the Volcano Sheet and clear the enemies. And you can see that it's more than decent enough to um, clear mobs. And especially if you do have a a uh, weapon like Okanaxos reducing the MP cost, it can last quite a bit either on his own or on a farming team to help uh, some of the weaker characters on your team gain some XP. Now let's switch up to the one that's guaranteed pain and we'll demonstrate the difference before applying pain as well as after boosting himself and then doing massive damage with the Celebros Agni. So bear in mind that it does take up to three turns in order to set it up. So 
where you can apply, um, you know, that's our first hit just to show you the regular hit. Now we're going to do the Volk Powell to increase our damage by 50% and of course Pierce is down by 30. Finally we apply the pain and let's see the hits now. So you can see quite a bit, almost 100k times 3 and you saw earlier on it wasn't nearly as powerful. Okay, so in our next example, we'll show how he's um, useful as a pain setter, and we'll actually show a little bit of a difference. First of all, we're just going to use a straight fire team here, two turn AF, using AS Garyu as well as Seti and AS Rudu. We would normally use AS, uh, normally use Sakia to apply Howling Surge, which is a 50% uh, physical resistance down. However, in this example, we don't need to do that since we can beat Serene without doing that. With one powerful enemies, you could use that as a third turn finish um, instead of bringing in uh, Garyu AS on the second turn. So we're going to set up with the um, Pain first, and then we're just going to boost him and you know do the uh, Volt Howl, and then you know just spam the right move, and obviously we can do a significant amount of damage. Even by itself, you can see his three hits actually do quite a bit, and later on it builds up into the millions times three. So as a free character, he has a lot of versatility. Remember he has power down, he has power down BC, he can boost um, you know, damage of all lands, and he has guaranteed pain. Quite good, 39 million. And then we're just going to finish off with a couple of hits here. I know we always bully Serene because the great thing about having her as an example to test on is, first of all, she is weak to uh, both fire as well as to wind. The other thing too is she has an HP stopper so we can really apply a multiple debuffs on her to see the um, effect of them when we do a lot of damage. So what I want to show you here is normally I do have elemental uh, Grasta on my fire team because previous to this we didn't have a guaranteed or dedicated pain setter. I would highly recommend moving forward that all your elemental teams should have at least one pain or poison setter and then you can equip those pain and poison Grasta to do multiplicative uh, damage. So in terms of instead of just 20, 20, 30 or 30, 30, 30, it's 1.3 times 1.33 times 1.3 and that actually adds up to more than 90% damage. So it's actually more effective that way than having just elemental Grasta. So in this example, I've changed two of the elemental Grasta on Seti as well as AS Remy from the 20% fire type to the 30% uh, mul multiplicative um, Pain Grasta. So if you compare the damage, it is more than before, and we can see the totals after that as well. Keep in mind that there are some variances being that, you know, criticals and so on and so forth. Uh, Jade will do around the same damage since I didn't mo modify his Grasta in any way. But just like that, instead of the high 30s, we have 44 million, and um, of course, AS Gary does not benefit from Pain Grasta being that he's a magic type user. If you had Hardy, for example, you will probably have some additional benefits from that as well. So, um, you know, it may not be a lot of damage, but obviously if you do have a full uh, AF bar, you will do certainly more than 5 million damage. Also, in this example, it's not like Seti is a huge DPS too, so uh, the more damage your units can do, the more multiplied damage you'll see. And in our final example, we're going to use uh, my joke or uh, of a Pierce team, so we're just gonna VC in 4 star forward, not AS forward. And this is kind of what you're kind of aiming for if you do uh, end up having an AS forward on your team. She would apply Pierce Zone here and you'd do massive amounts of damage. In this case, hey, I'll show you what it's like even having just her doing her Hermes Thrust, which is like a 3 hit non elemental attack as a 4 star, so obviously she's doing no damage at all. But she still helps with your AF bar. There's no zone here, so we're just relying straight on hits. Hey, combo meter is still going up a lot. And being that um, Serene is weak to fire as well as to win, you can see all those multi hits are still doing quite a bit. 274% combo meter, a respectable 30 million with just the three of them in front, and again, regular board from VC in the back. Okay. So in conclusion, um, as a 5 star, free of course, Jade is a great fire DPS, suitable for many uses on many different types of teams, lots of utility, significant DPS, what's not to like? Um, you know, and with his specialized VC Grasta, um, 
or personal aggressor, I should say. His speed is already in the 250, so very, very fast, lots of hits, and no slouch in power and other stats as well. If only I had AS Foreign, then we would really have a complete team. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.